I want to make an observation about the thing of going to church and why it is going to be important to the Antichrist system that's coming in the future, in the time of Jacob's trouble. Revelation chapter 13 verse 1 says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Speaking of the Antichrist here, it's what it's talking about. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Look at this. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? Where do you worship at? Church buildings. Um, there are no church buildings in, in the entire New Testament. And the term uh, go to church is not a Bible term. Nobody goes to church in the New Testament or says, let's, we're going to church. Or let's, we got to get to church here or something else. The church is always the people. I've been over this thing many times. But I really got to thinking about this the other day and I thought, why is there such a push there? You know, you are told by many of these Baptists especially, and, and church going people, whatever, they go to these buildings that they call them churches. That's a false term. But they'll tell you, you have to go there even if it's a bad place, even if you don't agree with some things, you have to be in church. Interesting. Why? Well, I wrote down a couple of things here. Um, as we already showed you there, Revelation chapter 13 says, all the world's going to worship the beast. So they have to have... And it's going to worship, they're going to you know, set up an image to the beast. A lot of these church buildings already have big television screens. Put an image of the beast up there. He could do a live streaming broadcast every Sunday morning or whatever the day would be. Hmm. Yeah. Number two, churches make records of their members. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even the smallest church buildings that I've, I've ever attended in my past and that I know of that are out there, they make records of their members. Good way to keep control of people out there. Control them through organized religion and keep records of them through their little uh, church buildings. Number three, churches control births, deaths, marriages and work together with the state with a lot of those things. They'll have little dedication services, then they have the funeral services, then they have the marriage and stuff like this, and they, they go off and they get their marriage license from the state, and then they give it to the pastor, and the pastor has to sign it and be official and everything else. Yeah, state marriage license. So you have church and state coming together. And of course, you know, they're 501c3, they're government institutions already. Interesting. Number five or uh, number four, uh, most people blindly trust their pastor and learn not to question him. Again, I've seen that thing many, many times. Well, pastor, they'll even refer to him as pastor. There's no title given there where somebody's calling themselves pastor. It's brother this or brother that. You know, pastor is a description. It's not a title in the New Testament. And yet you have people, they literally will call them pastor told me to do this and pastor told me to do that or if you're catholic you say father this or father that take your pick you know catholic or bathlic which one do you want but i find it so interesting that this huge guilt trip is put on people if you don't find if you don't have a good local church to attend if you're not attending a good local church you have you're not you're out of fellowship with god you're not right with god and all this other stuff it's the antichrist system that's coming I mean, in the future, you know, Bible-believing Christians aren't going to be here for it. But what I'm saying is we should be standing against the whole organized church-building thing right now. I mean, where were, where were Christians, for those of you out there that uh, defend the church-building thing, where were Christians 500 years ago? Were they meeting in church buildings? What's your proof? The oldest Baptist church in America was built right around 1700. Roger Williams' uh, congregation that went down long after he was dead and they built a church building by uh, having a lottery. Again, that's in my independent fundamental Baptist Catholicism studies. You know, I showed the proof of that thing. You know, there are no 
church buildings in the past for Christians. The Catholics were the ones that had them. They're the ones that built the big cathedrals and all the other stuff. But Christians got away from the Bible, didn't they? Yep. And what's the end result of it going to be? The end result is going to be these church buildings. I mean, really, seriously. If you're Even if you're a postie, do you really think that the Antichrist system is going to be going and you're going to be allowed to freely worship how you want in your church building that's open to the public in that time coming up? I mean, I've heard these posties. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Bless God. I'm just going to keep preaching the word and everything else. When the tribulation starts, you're out of your mind. Or, you know, the spirit that's in you is telling you, oh, you'll be fine in the Antichrist system. Don't worry about it. That's the whole issue. Um, stay away from the church buildings. Okay. If you are Christians and things like that, and you have a little group and, and things and you want to meet at a some place and whatever else and, you know, um, some place publicly or just a, a little community hall or something like that, whatever else. But don't start calling it church. All right. We're going to church. You're doing something that's not authorized in Scripture. And it's not because, well, they didn't know how to build church buildings in the first century or they, they just didn't have the idea yet. You know, again, Catholicism. That's the whole basis of Catholicism. We are the church that Christ founded. You say, really? Where's a sacrament at in here? Where are the nuns? Where are the monks? Where are the uh, cardinals, the archbishops, the pope? <laughs> Where's that at? Where's the Vatican? Where's the word Catholic? Where's the Eucharist? Where's transubstantiation? Where's the... Oh, that came later. You see? You say to the Baptist, uh, hey, where's your church building at in the New Testament? Well, that came later. They didn't do it the first century because they weren't as bright as we are today. They didn't do it for over a thousand years, you know, well over a thousand years, but we got it all settled today and we're much stronger than Christians were in the first century. They were kind of, you know, didn't quite have it all together there. So we have the pagan temples of the day. It's disgusting. Truly disgusting. So, stay away from Babel buildings. If you want to meet together with other people, meet. You don't have to just, you know, we have to have a house church and stuff. And the, I, again, I got to just say this. I hear these, these, you know, pathetic people, and they say, "Oh, well, I'd like to point out that meeting in a house is still meeting in a building." <laughs> oh yeah, but you know, nobody calls their house church. You know, and you don't have all the special little things and stuff, the little adornments and whatever else, and you, you act a certain way when you, when you go to church, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you're not wrong for saying, I don't want anything to do with these church buildings out there. They're compromising. They're wicked. You can't get through to these people, whatever else. I'm leaving them. You're going to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. All right? You're not going to have that going to these Babel buildings. So, enough on that. It just it just disgusts me when I see this whole thing. So, uh, stay away from the ch the uh, church buildings. Um, they're of the devil.